talk about your national team, uh, Norway. Uh, first of all, perhaps someone you've played alongside, Erling Haaland, who's uh, made the, the big move recently. Uh, what, what can you tell us about him? Do Borussia Dortmund now. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a big move for him. Uh, he's uh, been doing uh, amazing, of course, uh, scoring eight goals in Champions League yeah. when you're 19 years old. It's, it's an incredible achievement, of course. And then we also have Martin Odegaard, of course, yeah. doing very good in, yeah. in La Liga. So, I mean, we have a young generation now in Norway that's, that's coming up. And hopefully for me, uh, Norway had a drought for 20 years not coming to a uh, mm. to big tournament so hopefully for me I'm in that generation that's maybe going to flip it and play with these players and now get into uh, Euros. And you have those qualifiers coming up in March those are going to be uh, something yeah, special we have, you have to play Serbia don't Yeah you? we have Serbia at home and then we have uh, I think it's what? S Scotland, Scotland or Israel. Yeah. So. It's it's big games for us, of course. Um, well, hopefully, I'm I'm in the squad and I can contribute to win. I, we've been we haven't lost a game at home in in two years, and mm. both games are going to be at home if we can mm. win against Serbia. So we have an advantage there. And, and talk about the transition of you just mentioned you're 30 years old, right? And you just mentioned Alan, 19 year old, that you are now the veteran guy. Mm. You are sort of a veteran presence, not only for DC United, but potentially for Norway as well. How do you go about assuming that role? Because that happens, and I think we all go through that as players, that happens overnight that all of a sudden it's like, wait a minute, I'm not a young guy anymore, and I'm supposed to be sort of that presence for the young guys. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's not good, uh, good realization kind of, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, I think you just have to take more responsibility and you, you kind of communicate a little bit more and maybe you have to take care of the young guys but you have to be more of a role model for some of the young guys as well mm. uh, I think but so the young guys now are on a different level than I feel than mm. when I was younger mm. to be honest so and I know from having talked to you previously Ola that you were a big Newcastle United fan growing Ooh, up Alan, yeah. Alan Shearer was your was your role model yeah yeah, yeah and then uh, shock of course yeah. no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no, no, it's my, my favorite goalkeeper, of course. No. So, uh, for me, this is a big day. No, <laughs> no. I told you it was going to happen hey. one of these days. Oh, no. We need to set higher goals in life. <laughs> we have that in team. <laughs> we need to set higher goals in life. <laughs> oh, no. I, what a good night you are. <laughs> welcome. No. You're welcome to come on out at any time. No. Uh, world class goalkeeper. No. No. Hey. Yeah, right, stop it! Stop it! <laughs> world class. You, you gotta catch the ball to be a world class goalkeeper. Yeah, listen, listen, I, I keep trying to listen to Ola, please. Hey, yeah. I, no, quick Carry story. On. No, story time. Story time. <laughs> Ola Camara told us that Tino Sprilla, you're a big fan of mm. Tino Sprilla, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, so we covered Champions League with yeah. Tino Sprilla a couple of years ago, and we talked to him about Shaka because obviously they were teammates, and Tino said to us, hey, Next time you see Saka, tell him to catch the ball. That'd be great. Could have helped us a little bit. Hey, a little bit of a disclaimer. Tito's got a couple of screws loose. Right. <laughs> right. That's all I'm saying. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.